Let us see about three phase half wave control rectifier. It is a three phase rectifier. So, three phases are connected VA, VB, VC, and this is a neutral line which provides the path for the return current. And it is a half wave rectifier. So, one thyristor is enough for each phase. It is a control rectifier. So, thyristors are used. So, VA is given by Vm sin omega t. VB is Vm sin omega t minus 120 degree. VC is Vm sin omega t minus 240 or you can write it as plus 120. Let us draw the waveform for this one. Three phase waveform. So, this is VA. VB is Vm sin omega t minus 120. So, start the waveform from 120 degree. So, complete the waveform. So, VB and VC will start at 240. So, 240 you can. So, if you want to learn more about drawing this waveform, you can see the previous video on three phase uncontrolled rectifier where I have discussed about how to draw the three phase waveform step by step. So, three phase half control rectifier, we are talking only about R load. Remember, for RL load, waveform will change. This is for R load, resistive load. So, there are two cases in case of R load. That is, when alpha is less than 30 degree, your output voltage waveform will be different. For 30 to 150 degree, output voltage will be different. So, first let us see about alpha equal to 0. This is similar to diode. That is similar to a uncontrolled rectifier. We are making alpha equal to 0. So, in three phase circuit, always remember take this 30 degree as reference. Okay. Calculate alpha from 30 degree. You consider this 30 as reference. So, you should measure alpha from 30 only. So, if alpha equal to 0, it means that 30 becomes the starting point for thyristor T1. So, T1 starts from 30 degree. So, as we have seen in the previous uncontrolled rectifier video, the table, conduction table is from 30 to 150. That is, each device will conduct for 120 degrees. So, 30 plus 120 will give you 150. So, at 150, T2 will be triggered and at 270, T3 will be triggered. That is, whenever a particular phase is more positive, that device connected to that phase. So, in this, um, at 30 degree, VA is more positive. So, VA... T1 is connected. So, T1 will conduct during this period. Again, now this VB is more positive compared to other two phases. So, T2 connected to VB will conduct during this period. So, this is the conduction table. So, 30 plus alpha and ending period is 150 plus alpha. Add 120 degree. Each device will conduct for 120 degrees. Let us consider the case 1 that is alpha between 0 and 30 degree. Let me take alpha equal to 15 degree which is between 0 and 30 degree and draw the output voltage waveform. Always remember in uh, 3 phase circuit 30 degree is taken as reference this point. So, you should calculate alpha from this point 30 degree. So, in case of when alpha is equal to 50 degree, uh, thyristor T1 will be fired at 30 plus 15 
that is 45 degrees okay 30 plus 15 45 degree t1 is gated so t1 starts conduction at um, 45 degree and ends at 165 degree that is 150 plus alpha is 165 so where is 165 here so t1 period is over then t2 is triggered at 150 plus alpha and again t3 is triggered at 285 degrees so after drawing this conduction table we can draw the output voltage waveform easily so let me take the pen so t1 is connected to phase a so follow output voltage should follow the supply voltage waveform va okay so draw the voltage waveform or you follow the va voltage waveform so till this point t1 is conduction now t2 has started conduction so t2 is connected to vb so follow vb now so come to vb and follow its voltage waveform till t2 is in conduction so at this point t3 starts conduction t3 is connected to vc so follow vc waveform so complete this side also so this is the output voltage waveform v this is vb waveform and this is vc waveform so it is very easy to draw the output voltage waveform if you understand this concept so since you get three pulses in one cycle it is called a three pulse rectifier now let us derive the average voltage equation for this case alpha less than 30 degree so what is the output voltage uh, what are the limits 30 plus alpha to 150 plus alpha and you are getting three pulses in one cycle so multiply by three so v naught is vm sin omega t substitute that apply the limits so integral of sin omega t is minus cos omega t so if you will apply the limits you will get this equation now you substitute all these values what is cos 150 cos 30 sin 150 sin 30 i have given all the numerical values and this is of the form cos of a plus b formula so cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so simplify this i have already simplified here cos 150 plus alpha so you will get this one you substitute here you will get this as the average voltage for this particular case when alpha is less than 30 degree so as the waveform changes your average voltage will change so this expression is applicable only for r load and this case alpha is less than 30 degree for the second case average voltage will change so let us take the second case alpha is uh, between 30 and 150 degree so let me take alpha 60 degree start alpha uh, measurement from 30 degree so 30 plus um, alpha that is 60 degree will give you 90 degree so t1 will start conduction at 90 degree so 90 is here so t1 will start conduction from here okay so what is the conduction period for t1 it will start conduction and it will be conducting till 180 degree at this point supply voltage reverses because t1 is connected to va so when va reverses t1 will be turned off automatically because we are considering only r load okay 
So when you have R load, when the supply voltage reverses, the device connected to that phase will turn off automatically. So T1 get turned off at 180 degree. So starting period is 90, ending period is 180 degree. But T2 will be turned on at 210 degree. That is you have to calculate alpha for T2. So 150 plus alpha 60 that is equal to 210 degree. So T2 will be turned on here and it will conduct till this VB reverses at 300. So it will conduct till 300. Next T3 will conduct from 330 degree to 420 degree or you can take with this side as 60 degree okay so this is the conduction period you can see that there is a period where no devices are conducting this period this period this period none of the devices conducting it means that the output voltage waveform is going to be discontinuous so now let us draw the waveform So, T1 is conducting, T1 is connected to VA. So, follow the VA waveform till 180 degree. Okay, because T1 is conducting. So, during this period, none of the device is conducting. So, output voltage is 0. Again, T2 is conducting. So, T2 waveform is this one, VB. So, follow VB waveform from here and follow it till T2 conducts at 300. Then again, you have a zero period. Again, follow VC waveform. So, Okay, so this is VA, VB, this is VC waveform. So we can see that the output voltage waveform is discontinuous in case alpha is greater than 30 degree. And one more thing, we have taken the limit as 30 to 150. Why not we get an alpha greater than 150? So what happens when we have alpha greater than 150? So already you have 30 degree. If you add alpha 150, it will become 180 degree. So after 180 degree, you cannot trigger T1 because it has already gone to negative side. So that's why the alpha limit is from 30 to 150 degree. So let us derive the output. Um, average output voltage waveform so your limits are 30 plus alpha to pi because it conducts only till 180 degree and three output pulses are there multiply by three so substitute it you will get this equation so this average voltage expression for this case two so this output voltage waveform is discontinuous in this Case 2. The points to remember here are three phase half way rectifier uses three thyristors, and in case of R load, there exist two cases when alpha less than 30 degree output voltage waveform remains continuous, whereas when the alpha is greater than 30 degree or between 30 and 150 degree output voltage become discontinuous. And this circuit is rarely used in industries. So we have studied this one only to understand the full converter in detail. So these are some of the references. And if you like the video, do subscribe to our Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.